Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I am back yet again to check out a brand new line which comes courtesy of my friends over at Jada Toys. This is their Street Fighter 2 Ultra, the final challengers, Wave 1's Feilong and Ryu. Now, I remember Feilong, don't get me wrong, of course. I don't remember really playing as Feilong very much, but I really enjoy the box art that they got for this. Not just the box art, but the overall box in general. It looks like an old arcade machine. And it looks really cool to have a Marvel vs. Street Fighter 2, Marvel vs. Capcom sort of setup. But it's really clear. Figure, accessories, yada yada. And you get really nice artwork of the characters. You get to see Country of Origin. And everything is on the back side of the box that you would need, including Chun-Li, who is actually starting to hit store shelves now, along with basically a whole cavalcade of upcoming characters, and they have revealed ones at SDCC, they had a Comic-Con exclusive, you get the idea, here's the barcode, more of these are starting to trickle into Target store shelves now, so keep your eyes peeled. Along with Fei Long, we have Ryu, and as we all discussed at San Diego Comic-Con, it's not Ryu, as I used to say all the time growing up, it's Ryu. So if I have to say it, you have to say it. But again, the boxes are just so freaking cool. What a display, I gotta say. And again, much like Fei Long, you get the country of origin, you got nice artwork. The backside of the box shows Chun-Li, Ryu, and Fei Long. And here's the barcode for Ryu as well. So this is gonna be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot... Are you freaking kidding me? What? God, I think I have some coins here. Hold on. There's two. Okay, let's see. Oh, God. Press start. Okay. There we go. Finally, this is a look at the brand new Street Fighter 2 Ultra 6-inch action figure line, Wave 1, by Jada Toys. And I'm glad I caught you guys between beating up cars, and I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos, and if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So to kick it off with Fei Long, you get powers and abilities and you get Street Fighter moves and it's really cool. This big old fire effect right here, it's kind of cool. We'll just say it fits over his leg if I'm being honest with you. I think it achieves the effect they're going for. Do I wish he had a stand to kind of position him? Yes. Also, it's very squishy, and mine is very sticky, like an old Ghostbusters Kenner figure. Now, you do get an extra pair of hands, which they fit in just like your typical hands. They look pretty good overall. You get an extra bonus head. That's cool. All of this for 25 bucks. I love the eyebrows. Such anime eyebrows. But the face is painted beautifully. The eyes are perfect. No complaints. You pop it off. Easy peasy. Fit it on. You get the idea. So two head portraits in the box along with Fei Long. And I got to say, this is very cool to see Jaded Toys tackling action figures not just die cast no more six inch action figures and what they've really achieved for 25 dollars you got excellent packaging you got a figure you got extra head portraits extra hands and a power effects and you got a pretty good paint job overall the wash really brings out the muscle tone of this figure and that's what you need to see for a character like Fei Long from street fighter it's all about big burly dudes and women beating each other up in a street he's also pinless that's nice to see the paint for what is there looks pretty dang good except for right here on the shoes it gets a little sloppy around that line but other than that for the paint that's on this figure looks pretty good he's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet double jointed elbows double jointed knees i'll show you the articulation no problemos but overall while he's not my favorite character especially to play as or to have in the collection it's Fei Long, right? I expect a lot of articulation out of this guy. And Jada has achieved it in spades. Lots of head momentum. Very cool to see. You got butterfly looking joints. And they go all the way up. And you can cross punch and do everything that you would expect, again, to be associated with a street fighter brawler, right? And I love the way they did the elbows. You got the wrists. They'll rotate. They spin. These are solid figures. They don't feel like, for lack of a better comparison... Marvel Legends, right? Marvel Legends can get kind of gummy sometimes. These are solid figures in the abdomen, in the waist, the way they move, they crunch. It's all very natural. 
and I love the way that they have sculpted them. Even down to the pants, you can get a high kick going, you can move it to where you can spin the thigh to get you a little bit extra height. You got double jointed knees. He will rotate at the foot, up, down, left, right, and he also has basically the whole ankle spins. So again, that's cool to see. That's fun, especially when you want to position these guys in their Street Fighter poses. They've nailed it in that sense. Now, with Ryu, right, which is definitely my favorite of the two because that's just the one I'm more acclimated with. But I love, again, the head portraits, the way the eyebrows go above the headband. That's cool. That's Street Fighter right there. And it just gives it a little bit more personality. His red headband is very nicely done. It's all gummy. It just free flows. It's very cool. Mine has a little blemish on the nose, but... That's not a really a big deal. And just like Phalong, easy peasy, swap the heads, angry face really does work with the extra hands. And the hands look pretty darn good, except for some paint mishaps, little dabs here and there. Could have been a little cleaner, just saying. But they do fit in nicely, and you have a little bit of articulation to them. But I have to say, in swapping out the hands left and right for filming this video, the hands, both pairs, became incredibly loose in the sockets. Now, you do get a flight stand, so to speak. It's two pieces, simply just slides right in there, and the stand is articulated at two points. That's really cool. You can also spin it, of course, but you get a power effect. It's an energy effect, and it's really freaking cool. It's all cast in blue, but then within the blue orb, you have the hands of him, of what he's doing to achieve this power effect. I appreciate that, along with this little peg hole right there, which pegs into the clear plastic stand, and now you have a way to Hadouken, right? That's cool, along with this Ryu figure. I got really no complaints on this guy, it's pretty solid. People weren't lying when they kept saying, hey, check this figure out, check them out, they're really cool. Yeah, they did a great job. That's a great entry point into the world of action figures. I mean, they honestly nailed it. Sure, there could be some spruces up here and there with some of the hand pegs being loose, with some of the paint slop here and there, but very minimal, I will say. Yeah, overall, the Street Fighter II line is a knockout, and I will be getting the characters that I know and love, especially for some Marvel vs. Capcom action, right? So I'm really looking forward to their upcoming Mega Man line as well, but as you can clearly see, Butterfly joints, double jointed elbows, pinless, the neck, it goes all the way up and down, and it really is cool. Again, can't say enough nice things about this, and the fact that they're 25 bucks, they come with powers and extras and everything else, that's what I like to see packed into the box. You can kind of see around his gi that you can see the skin is painted, everything is plastic, everything looks cool, but it's just nice little touches here and there. The legs, they'll kick all the way out. You got the thigh, you got the double joints, you got the feet, and he too has that upper ankle rotation. So totally dig that. But again, very fun to pose these guys out. You know, let me just let me just show you, right? So that's probably why you're here. So you go ahead, you get Phalong all positioned out. You got Ryu ready to blast some energy. Put some coins in, press start. There you go. That's a really cool video game display if I ever saw as one and the price is right to boot. So definitely recommend this line. This is a lot of fun. And to be honest, like I said, I'm really eager to see all the different characters they got a coming up. Now, for me, I will say this, maybe a stand or two, right? Just to kind of get these guys elevated. And really don't take that as a complaint. I would say more as a suggestion. If you could put more in the box, a flight stand, so to speak, so you can get these guys up in the air and dueling oh so right. And just to kind of show you, because this is a new line, yes, they are around the six inch mark. So more so these will go with Marvel Legends, that type of six inch figure more than anything. NECA Turtles kind of sorta, but they're entirely too short for let's say McFarlane's seven inch multiverse. But for me personally, this takes me back to the days of Marvel Super Heroes versus Street Fighter, Marvel versus Capcom 2, Dreamcast, Playstations, arcades, you name it. And for me, this, this is the sweet spot right here, right? To have Street Fighter characters going up against your Marvel characters. I would love to see more Marvel-inspired Marvel vs. Marvel Capcom 2 characters like a Blue Venom. That would be awesome. But this just takes me back. This is a nice, fun, nostalgic trip back. Also, while being something entirely new and fun. So... Jada, you definitely knocked it out of the park. Thanks so much for sending over these figures. I had a blast looking at them. I will be picking up characters that I know. Phalong goes either way for me. He's a solid figure, but it's not exactly a character where I'm like, oh yeah, Blanca, 
bison, more along the lines of that. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Street Fighter 2. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I want to take you for a ride. Y'all remember that, that tune? I'm going to play it for you. Whatever. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. I want to take you for a ride.